Can I be honest with you? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Every once in a while, there comes a time in even a strong person's life where they meet somebody and you don't know what to do, so you just hold still, <laughs> stick to the formula, and let it pass. Rosie, you were that person for, for, for me. Like, like, you walked in and I was like, who clap? Who clap? Because that's not me being me. It was me being just trying to go along to get along because all the stories I've heard about you, Rosie, behind the scenes, I don't know whether they're true or not, but all of them end with coo, coo, woo, woo. Like, all of them, and no. <laughs> Rosie, all I know is that you were nice to me, I was nice to you, but believe me, you, I was scared to death of you. <laughs> and we all have a tick. You have a tick. I have a tick. I always say, if you follow anybody for 24 hours, any one of us, you're gonna discover the tick, okay? <laughs> you might have more ticks than Britney Spears. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I would call this the tick show. <laughs> come one, come all. <laughs> Charlie's got a, a little tick, like most of us. He's just, he's just a little more, bit more tickish. Um, he's got like a little tick. Every body wins. And that's when that whole winning thing started and Ch Charlie went ticky boom, boom. <laughs> There's big news for Charlie's ex-sister-in-law, Paula Abdul. The people at So You Think You Can Dance want Paula Abdul. There, there's, there's something a little ticky about Paul, I, you know, if Paula takes this job, she would take over for Kooky, and I mean that in the best way, Mary Murphy. Listen, Mary's been here before. She's a whole lot of ticky boom. She talks real loud, and like, she's like all kind of people. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Tom Cruise um, has a, a tick, and we all have a tick, but I think his tick could be a little dangerous. He's... <laughs> He just seems like he'd be weird as hell, though, right? <laughs> Tom Cruise, just, 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 and scary. Uh, I, I, look, I don't know about the religion. I'm not going to speak anymore because I don't want to be a victim. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about um, Columbus Short from Scandal. Oh. He sucker punched a man in a barroom brawl. Oh. Okay, allegedly. <laughs> well, now. His wife of eight years, to me, is claiming that he put a knife to her throat, threatened to kill her and kill himself. Yes! And, and wait, in the middle of the fight, allegedly poured wine all over her. And this all happened in a game that Columbus calls Truth or Truth. <laughs> Oh, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know how when something's so crazy that it's comical, but you don't want to laugh, but it's because it's awkward? Like, Columbus Short has been here to our show before, you know what I mean? And, and he was a pleasant enough man. Who knew that he could have come in here with a gun and gotten all of us? Ticky, ticky, boom, boom. You know that modeling show hosted by Naomi Campbell called The Face? There's this contestant who says that she needs a psychiatric help because Naomi Campbell has bullied her. There's the contestant. Like anything you say about Naomi Campbell regarding being really angry, we're gonna believe it. Because for years she's been cursing people out, firing people, throwing cell phones, and just being a horrible boss according to what we read. In my mind, I believe that Naomi has been nothing but trouble since the beginning regarding behind the scenes. She's got something going on up here. She's got a problem and she's never sought help. And that's fine. But we love her because she's endlessly gorgeous, slightly crazy, ticky boom. <laughs> but she's not our friend, so she's fun to watch and read about. Yeah. Remember, Chili had a reality show looking for love and she never found love there. And now she's on with Patty Stenger with the millionaire matchmaker looking for love again. Chili. You ha to be a cute girl with washboard abs, you must have a ticky ticky boom up here or something, Chili. <laughs> Let's talk about Chris Brown. Oh. <laughs> you know, Chris, who's got a tick. Look how black, or look, look how dark his eyes are. He looks like he hasn't slept in five years. And we're not playing the audio, but I can tell you it's everywhere online. You know, just because 
you throw on some chains doesn't mean you look clean and, and about your business. He sounded crazy. Like, did y'all be complaining about being like stalkers in love with y'all kind of crazy and get tired of it? Well, guess what? I'm one of them If I love you, bitch, ain't nobody gonna have you. I'm gonna make you miserable. I don't know what time of day or night this is. I don't know who's holding the camera or what all's going on. But this right here, for the next girl that he does wrong, is evidence for Judge Judy's courtroom. Yeah. Chris, good luck trying to not be crazy. Are you African American? I don't, I don't understand the question. Are your parents, I'm are they white? I, I See, this story to me is fascinating because it was called passing back in the day. That's when, you know, my people would pass for white to get advantages and opportunities that we weren't afforded. But even for my people to be passing in 2015 or for white, anybody passing anything in 2015, it, tick, 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 <laughs> boom. Cuckoo, crazy Kenya. Kenya's a lot of things, including crazy. If you come over here, you come to my door, you can find out where I live, please do. Because if you come over here, you're gonna get a mother tap in your ass. I will shoot and I will ask questions later. Kenya's got a gun. Kenya is a beautiful woman tra trapped in cuckoo. In my Hot Topics uh, meeting, some of the producers were saying that nobody wants Ramona. And I said, why not? And they said, because she's crazy. Okay. <laughs> she does have a ticky ticky boom. <laughs> Usher and his ex-wife, Tamika. She's got a bit of the, the crazy, like the ticky boom, I guess. So she was a reason to watch. I don't know, I never watched the show. I can't even, what was it called? Atlanta Exes. Atlanta Exes, yeah. Housewife from Jersey, Teresa Giudici. Wrote a letter to the judge. <laughs> requesting which prison she wants to go to. P.S. It's the one in Connecticut from Orange is the New Black. I am not lying. <laughs> Teresa, poor thing. You know what? I don't think Teresa even realizes that she's got a tick. She, she's got, we've seen it through the TV so many times. Clearly, there's something wrong with her that, 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 yeah. <laughs> Clear, but we've known that since we met Teresa. She's a little ticky boom boom. <laughs> you know I love Teresa. And I, I've talked about her. Yeah, she's a ticky ticky boom boom. I want you to know that even though I have a lot of questions, you're in a safe place. Okay. You just impressed me as a woman, no offense, that does not have it all together up here. There, there's, the, <laughs> there's, there's something wrong with you, Teresa. She's very, very out of touch. She's got a tick. You wanna go see your rooms upstairs? Yeah! I didn't wanna go house shopping because I just gave looking at other people's houses. Come here, this is your room. I don't wanna live in somebody else's house, that's gross. Does this woman need a punch in the head cause she's out of touch? <laughs> Teresa, what is wrong with you? Melanie Griffith is the same ticky ticky boom as Demi Moore. Do you know what I mean? In a, in a weird kind of way, I, I just, she just reminds me of somebody ticky boom. And Demi Moore and her ex-husband, Bruce Willis, are getting back together. <laughs> for a movie. <laughs> Wendy from Jersey playing jokes on you. They're getting, <laughs> they're getting back together for a movie, okay? But I still think she's got the tick of the left lane, right lane. Uh, the, that'd be the, yeah, the shoulder. Yeah, the shoulder. She's got the tick, and um, Demi seems to be fragile. Not Britney Spears fragile, but fragile in her own way. Fragile, you know? Demi is also still, to me, really needy in my mind. Like, she's still not back to, she's still in the Britney Spears lane of life. Do you know what that lane is? Yes. Then we don't need to talk. <laughs> Mario Lopez just revealed, you know, he's got this new book out and there are a lot of revelations in the book. He wrote this book and in, inside the book, he's revealing that he had a one night stand with a major pop star about six years ago and he won't say the name. He won't name, I said Britney too. Thank you, thank you. Not only didn't he say it in his book, which would be fine, I guess, even though we want to know stuff, he didn't even tell his own wife. 
wouldn't you want to know if you were the wife? <laughs> if it were Britney Spears, even though Britney's not married, I wouldn't feel threatened on account of Tiki Tiki. You know what I mean? I would be very upset if... if... Did I tell you this story already? I didn't say this. It was only in my head. <laughs> I would be extremely upset if my little Kevin brought home Britney Spears. <laughs> already been married and Kevin already has his kids. I still, Brittany just still, you know, she, well, lady, I don't know that she's that, but I do know that we all saw her with the shaved head stabbing the car with the umbrella. That's an indelible image in my mind forever. And I worked too hard as a mother to have my son bring that home. And I don't care. With if my little Lord Fauntleroy <laughs> bought home a soiled woman with a, a, a divorce under her, two divorces under her belt, uh, two children, and a couple. A, you remember? Like, come on now. You know Britney's got several ticks. I mean, moms, stop looking at me like I'm crazy. You know you want the best for your kids too, right? Britney Spears' fiance has moved on. Remember Jason Treadwick? It's got to be very different dating um, Britney versus dating his new girlfriend, Levin. I mean, with Britney, I, he, I mean, you know, poor thing. You know, <laughs> Britney, get up. I'm going to give you your clothes. <laughs> Britney, your meds. <laughs> Britney, come on. Britney, please use Visine. Don't always look so frightened. Stop standing like that. Brit <laughs> Britney, Britney, dear, I'll bring you some warm milk. Go lay down. You know, he was more of her caretaker. Her father, Jamie, who's a good man, he's been a good father to her. He's not like one of those thieving parents. Anyway, um, her father, Jamie, um, is reportedly banning her from dating anyone for six months. Wow. I only clap in my mind because it's Brittany, and Brittany has a few issues that she's, <laughs> that she's gotta get right with. Oh, come on, you know that. I think, I think that her father's telling her the right thing. It's a great idea. You know, she's got to get her life together. You know, they're divorced, Mr. and Mrs. Spears. Um, but he's petitioning the court to get more money. He's currently making $216,000 a year as Britney's conservator. The conservator is the person looking over all of, all of the duties regarding money. And, you know, Britney has a lot of money. And Britney, apparently, is still not able to take care of herself. <laughs> if you know what I mean. That's... They're laughing, I'm not. I'm simply telling a story. <laughs> Britney's still not well, uh, you know, so his duties have, have increased, you know, as her money increases. I mean, remember, she's, this, sh this uh, show that she's doing in Vegas is a hit, you know, and, and that's Britney, B. <laughs> have you, any of you seen Britney clap if you have in Vegas? Play and have fun, but don't stress yourself out because, um, well, you know. And I really like Britney, and I think that Britney seems like she comes from a really good family, almost too good for show business, you know? And I think that that, you know, show business probably gave her the tick. You, you understand what I'm saying? No, don't laugh, don't laugh. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> You're a mean girl, lady in red. Mm -hmm. Yes, you. <laughs> You're very mean. But you know, Britney's got the tick. Remember, she, t she shaved her head and attacked the car with the umbrella, spun out of control. They put her on a 52-50 hold for, you know, the tick. But I, but I, th I think that, that this, this business, it, you know, it's, it's, not for, it's not for everybody. Britney Spears wants a reality show. Remember, she did reality TV about five episodes years ago with Kevin Federline. Yeah. But that's before we all knew that there was a tick. I was going to say screw loose, but I didn't want to say that. You know, that was before we knew that she had a real bona fide tick that subsequently had her father and all of her handlers take away all of her power. So virtually she became a robot. If you don't know how to run the show with your own money, then you definitely don't qualify for the harshness of reality TV. You know, I just feel like, um, this is a show that I'll watch. <laughs> on account of the purple chair and what we do here at the show, but um, on account of um, seeing Britney as a, as a human being, not some product and fodder for our enjoyment, I wish that she wouldn't do this. Do you understand what I'm saying?
Just when you think I don't have a heart, I do have a heart. I understand. We could spend the whole season just talking about Britney being a mess. But I don't want to do that. Now, Mariah Carey, if you're watching, uh, I need you to do something. I need you to go in the other room for about five minutes. I've got... <laughs> I've got something to stay, uh, say. I want you to stay away from the windows. Stay away from sharp objects. Just go to the other room and then come back in five minutes, okay? Because you don't want to hear what I'm going to say. Nick and Mariah. What is going on? Now, look, what is, okay, first of all, um, I found it very difficult to believe when I found out that they got married because they only dated for, like, six weeks and then they got married. And I said... Who does that? The Lambs let her down in February. You, you, you only bought like five copies of, oh yes! You, you didn't even know she had an album out? It came out in February and it flopped. And as far as I can see, you know, dialing back to when the craziness really started with their marriage, it happened around February. You know, those things um, combined with a, a woman who has a history of being just a little ticky, ticky boom. <laughs> do, do you know what I'm saying? Do you remember back in, in 2001? Yes. When she put on tight gold shorts and grabbed the Good Humor ice cream cart and wheeled it onto the set of TRL when Carson Daly was hosting? And then she started, she started babbling incoherently. Like, even for the MTV kids, they're like, oh, look at Miss Mariah. What, what, what is she doing? You know, um, so hopefully she's going to be okay. But... But Nick and people have put it out there that um, she's emotionally unstable and that she drinks too much. Oh. Well, now, you know, she does like a sip, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come close? I'll meet you halfway. <laughs> it's better than no way. Partridge family. <laughs> Do you remember that song? Yeah. Okay. All right, look. I don't picture Mariah being fun in a relationship. Like, I picture her being childlike to a point of unicorns and that, that mess. <laughs> like, it's cute in the beginning, but all of a sudden, like, a guy wants to be with a woman. And I don't picture Mariah... I don't picture her having sex. <laughs> no, no, what? <laughs> Can we talk? I, and let me tell you something. This is not a new opinion. If you know me from the radio, you know I've said this before, okay? I picture her fanning her hair back and it all falls out on the pillow and her saying, now you go over there and observe me. <laughs> While she just lays there. Like, I don't, I don't picture, and I don't picture her having, like, great conversation that will really move a man to be turned on. Like, I don't picture any, and... At, because of the tick <laughs> in my head that I think that she might have in her head, I just picture guys using her for the Mariah Carey. Even some of the lambs on the staff and, and just men in general are saying nobody wants her for, for, like, for good because of the diva-like behavior and the ticky, ticky, boom, boom personality. And I was like... Gee, that's weird that people go there because certainly she's an attractive girl and she's very successful, but it's the ticky boom. It's the ticky boom boom thing. <laughs> and then, like, a lot of the guys here were saying, first of all, she has to find somebody who's going to dress up in those stupid outfits for occasions. <laughs> like, like, you know, like for Easter. All right, Mariah, come back. Um, Kanye. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> you know, Kanye is not out here with the rest of us. I think of Kanye as on the loose. <laughs> <laughs> look at him dance, you all. Look, look at that madman dance, okay? He's in a glass box as well he should. <laughs> And of course you heard that he said that 400 years of slavery was a choice for black people. <laughs> Is this your choice? <laughs> but there's been a 
slow tickishness about Kanye. I mean, even the music has changed, you know? Like, I go for mine, I gots to shine. <laughs> That's my Kanye. You know what I mean? It seems like he mentally became untucked at the time of the Taylor Swift thing, you know, where he jumped on the stage and uh, Taylor Swift at the, at the um, mm -hmm. But remember, that was also the red carpet that he walked with his then girlfriend, Amber Rose, and he was dragging a bottle of brown juice with him and sw <laughs> Okay. Those were the days. Those, those were the days when, you know, slightly nutty, but we loved it. And people say Kanye's a musical genius. I think that there's a, there's a wall that you hit with genius, and once you get to the other side of the wall, it's... <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Ticky, ticky, boom, boom. And that's you, Kanye. Uh, you're very entertaining, and you know what? I'm kind of over covering Kanye rants. I mean, I do it now because I know you guys wanna know. Um, but I'm, I'm over it. He's the one person that I can think of off the top of my head that I just give him a pass. Anything that comes out of his mouth, it's a, like, it's not even stunning or surprising anymore. It's certifiable-ish. <laughs> By the way, stop asking me what I think about Kanye for president. Are you serious? I don't want Kanye working anymore. Really, I, I, I don't. I think that he needs to sit down and, and be well. And between me and you, he could use a Sean T workout. Poor Kim, I wonder if she regrets marrying that madman. Kim's smile has been gone since the day she got with that man. <laughs> and he's a madman. Unfortunately, she's stuck with this joker, not for 18 years, but for the rest of her life. No matter what she does, she's stuck with him. Kanye was supposed to be a drive-by. He, he wasn't supposed to be a keeper. Because Kanye, <laughs> listen, you've dealt with a man before and realized he's so crazy, and sometimes crazy sex is good, but it's not a keeper, <laughs> right? I mean, this man never looks happy and he's stolen the joy from her. Their body language is always crazy, like they're two miserable people walking around. I think that she's deeply embarrassed by marrying this madman. But don't you feel so sorry for her being married to this madman? I know she made her bed, but what a prickly one. <laughs> you know, Brody didn't get a plus one to his stepsister Kim K's wedding to that madman. So Brody chose not to go to that wedding with um, that woman and the madman. Brody and his girl, his plus one, his girlfriend, were guests at Kim's ex-wedding, Reggie, Reggie Bush. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Reggie Bush got a side chick pregnant, allegedly. Oh. Kim, you win. Oh. Even though in our morning meeting, <laughs> I took a poll and people said, I, I, and here was my poll. Sometimes I hate the things that go through my mind. <laughs> Would you have Tiki Boom Com, um, Kanye as a husband or Reggie Bush with a oops baby as a husband? Kanye, Kanye clap. <laughs> Reggie, clap. Let's see, you all, you all are taking um, not wellness a little too not serious. I'll take Reggie in a side piece for five. Five more years, divorce him and get some of that, you know what I mean? Whereas tick, tick, boom, that doesn't go away. That, that is forever. Mm -mm.